But let's just talk about the draw itself. Ross, it must have been, it was, it, I mean, yeah, we were all pretty happy with it, regardless of what everybody else Yeah, did. no, I, um, <laughs> all the build-up and stuff too. I, I was still high on the, on the Munich result, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I was exactly, like, yeah. I think I texted you the other day saying, no, I've got the Champions League book again. I never yeah. had that because we obviously lost three three games in the group. Uh, and then to go and do that against Bayern Munich, I, even before the game was like, just wasn't feeling confident at all because you can't yeah. dismiss Bayern Munich of, of being a good side. And then when it came to the draw, it was like, you know, there was loads of conversations in the office or at home or whatever. I was like, oh, who do you want? Who do you want? And I was like, oh, obviously, the, the dream was Porto. I'm under yeah. no illusion, by the way, that we're going to go and smash Porto 5 0. Because uh, yeah. I think they're a different side, just don't it's going to happen. I just think that if you're going to pick someone out of the draw, it was Porto or Ajax. And I kind of didn't want Ajax either, to be honest with you, because mm. everyone goes, oh, yeah, Ajax, they've not been in, in the Champions League at this stage for years and years. And although they, they got to the Europa League final against Manchester United, they're a good young side and they're on, on the quantity in, in that sense. Mm. When the kids have nothing to lose and they've got no fear. Yeah. That's, that's quite dangerous to, to play against. Yeah. Whereas Porto, kind of, we've been there, we've kind of, kind of done that. It will be tough, I get that. But if you look at all the other teams that are in there, Barcelona, their pedigree, you don't want them. Yeah. Either the Manchester sides, I just didn't want any of them. No, I didn't want Manchester United. Um, I'd rather have had Man City than Man United. I did oh, not no, want Man United. United. No, God. Yeah. Can you imagine? Be- so think about the Man City, think about the Man United PSG unbearable. situation, right? Yeah. Where they get a penalty. Imagine Ras- Marcus Rafford scoring that penalty at the cop end at Anfield in the second leg to, to knock us out. I, no. I think it was City. Yeah, but I'd ra- I'd ra- I'd rather City. I'd rather City. Okay. If uh, sorry, okay. one one question I wanted to ask was, um, so just talk, quickly talk about the Manchester clubs. I had this conversation because day of the draw, I was with a Man United fan. And I had this conversation about him because obviously now we're in the opposite side of the draw. City, we can't play them until the final, and um, because we play the winner of Man United Barcelona. <laughs> if and f- f- please slaughter me in the comments if people want to. If Man United played Man City in a Champions League final, who would you want to win? Fucking hell. The ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would rather Man United get a fourth than City have one. Because I respect Man United. And if that's the way... If that, if, 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 I, th- I think this might be going on YouTube... But if and if if people oh, want to slaughter me, then if, it's going if, sl- if 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 people are going to slaughter me in the comments for that, but I I, I would much I I would f- I find it much more unbearable to have to call City among Europe's elite because they've got a European Cup than see Man United get four. I, genuinely, I think an FA Cup final is different because I'm not I'm not asked, but I don't want I don't want City in that same bracket as us and even United as a team that's won, won a European Cup. What are your honest thoughts? Uh, my honest thoughts is obviously neither of them to win it, but I think you can make a case for Manchester United if they won it and obviously got four, they're obviously catching up with us yeah. to a fifth, Yeah, essentially. Uh, I I generally can't answer that question. I would, I would rather win because... But what's uh, your gut feeling? Like if, it was, if, it, if I had to flip a coin and City were heads and United were tails, you know, and, and then... And then, what would be reaction? What would your reaction be if if United won? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I do kind of understand your argument of. I I just come back to the money thing again. A little bit. I mean, I don't want to dwell on it too much because I think you know we've got, we're probably going to talk about that a little bit more next week, um, as well as the running and stuff. But I think it's just down to the fact. I'd, 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 the partly for the same argument that some Liverpool fans were happy that Man United not PSG out. Because because yeah, no, no, yeah. nobody likes PSG. Nobody likes that, especially when you come from a club with pedigree and you come from a club with rich tradition like Liverpool or Man United or you know even I reckon even Barcelona were chuffed that they've ended up. Do you know why people get pissed off? And I don't. You might be in this bracket as well. When people play FIFA, yeah, online, yeah. I don't know. I know Goldbridge is definitely in this bracket. Yeah. And when you're playing someone, and they're just unbelievable. Yeah, and it basically used the mum dad's credit card for oh, right. FIFA coins left, right, and centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's essentially what what City are, and why yeah. no one, why no one likes them because mm-hmm. like nobody wants to play a fucking kid. It's like there's, no, there's a level of playing ground, I and mean, we've had this fucking argument loads of times. If you kind of earned it, which is what you get now, we've got yeah. you respect United for the fact that from a business perspective. Yeah, well, I just not, think I just think that, that, that look, we don't like Man United. Sorry, we don't like Man United, but whether we like it or not. There's similarities between our two clubs. There's so much history and, and, and tradition there. And, you know, in another life, one of us could have been a Man United fan and hated Liverpool, but it's still it's still loving the 
the, the the decades of glory that we've had down the years. And I just I just think when I see when I see Man United's success in growing up, and well, that could have easily been Liverpool because mm-hmm. we were both just both such massive clubs, and I respect that. Man City, I look at their fan base, and I look at just the way that they've built their success so far. And you know what? In 20, 20, 30 years' time, I'm sure they will have won a couple of European Cups and I'm sure that the next generation of whoever does this sort of thing will be like, well, you know, I don't like... Um, Bournemouth because of the way that they've pumped their money into the, and all that. You know, I'm sure the cycle will be it's the same ending, with Chelsea. When yeah, Chelsea exactly. But minutes. I don't respect Chelsea either. I mean, because we're not that stage with Chelsea yet. Um, but I, yeah, but that's just years like, ago yeah. when I was when I, when I was growing up, it was Chelsea. Yeah, I, I I almost I'm almost at the point where not I'm not say almost at the point. But if United were in a if United were in a Champions League final with Man City, and then United won, be like, well. Fair play, uh, you know. What I mean, they're, they're a good club. Would you watch it? No, I'd go to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first of June, I'd go to the cinema. I'd go, I'd go and watch a good film. Yeah. Uh, I w- no, I wouldn't watch that. But in terms of Liverpool, let's talk more about Liverpool's draw. What an opportunity this is, Ross. We've had a really good week. Um, we we beat Burnley last weekend. Then we beat Bayern Munich in the week. We had a really good draw, and then we went and beat Fulham. That's a, just an all-round great week. It's, you know, it's. I'm not saying it's a season-defining week, but it, it's definitely one of them weeks that we could look back on at the end of the season and um, and and say oh, that was a really big one for us. It's huge. Uh, again, like I said before, if you asked 100 Liverpool fans who they wanted in the draw, mm-hmm. to, to take away the fact that you know there was a trip to Amsterdam on offer, uh, yeah. I think the majority of people would have said, yeah, would have said Porto. Again, I'm under no illusion that. <clears throat> We're going to go out there and smash them five 0 I quite like that the first legs at home, yeah, and I quite like the fact that it's at home because there's no Andy Robertson as well, yeah. So I think you can kind of shoehorn James Milner at left mm. back. He just obviously doesn't trust Marina to be in there, um, and the owners on us. And I, I, again, I think I might I speak for a lot of Liverpool fans where you say the Champions League books back, yeah, definitely. So uh, we, you know, the, the loss to Napoli, Red Star, and, and PSG, um, all the away fixes was kind of like a bit of a damp, and then you know we, we just got through by the skin of our teeth. Whereas last season was like. Wasn't even a roller coaster ride last season. Mm-hmm. We've got you had the draw at Sevilla at home, but like we were smashing Maribor, Spartak. You know we had Hoffenheim in the, in the earlier rounds, so we got got through that. Um, and then the Porto was the last sixteen. Yeah, last year. The yeah. Last sixteen yeah. and yeah. went out there five nil. That it was, just yeah, but, but it that, just makes that, you feel good. But that was just <laughs> kind of like season defining. Yeah, in that essence of uh, propelling everyone to go fucking, hell, we can we can win this Champions League. Yeah. That's what happened. Whereas I kind of think that's what Munich's just done of going. Yeah, oh, it's a reminder. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's, yeah. And, and our mindset as fans, or certainly mine was before. And okay, I wasn't wasn't not asked if we went out, but I wasn't feeling that confident yeah. because of the way Munich played in the first leg and kind of going. They're actually they're a really good side. Um, a bit more confident we had we had Virgil in there, but I knew, in my mind we were never going to go out there and go and win three one. Since we've done it, I'm kind of like oh, I'm, I'm on board with this, and I love the fact that Jurgen Klopp completely doesn't have the mindset of us. And in his yeah, mind, he's yeah. going, we can we can we win can, both of here. Of course, yeah. we can win both. Liverpool are, are. I mean, I've just had a quick look on um, on Sky bet. Liverpool are twelve to one to win both the Premier League and the Champions League, which a decent odds. You know, a ten on that. You know, it might be worth a punt, I suppose. It was last week was good. I mean, we just we did the instant match reaction. We stayed really late on Wednesday, didn't we? Um, to do yeah. to do the instant match and the the man of the match podcast. I've and got a speed on, ticket as well. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh well, let's let's just take a little. Um, yeah. Just to get home, do we we pulled over. No, so let's just take a little. Uh, um, yeah. Decor. So we stayed dead 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 late, yeah. didn't we? We left about we left after midnight. And I was desperate for petrol. Right. So. I, I, I should, probably should have gone in the daytime, but I just fucking didn't get a chance on, on Wednesday to, to go out and do it. Um, so all the petrol stations were shut, and I went a different way home that I never go to go and get some petrol because I knew there was a petrol station that was 24 7 and it's in, in my gull. And I was like, sound. And then I like I saw a flash of light, and I was like, I wasn't sure if that was whatever. So oh. it was a, a camera. Uh. And then I got a letter when I got home on. On, I came here on Saturday to do some work and then I got home as a letter and it's like oh for fuck's sake that is a shame so had I just gone and got petrol yeah. or just gone a different way it's home just gone that to that petrol station there it's, it's closed at midnight oh I thought it was an all night one and you just pay you know like night pay and you go like, oh that is a shame that is a nightmare a nightmare mm. unlucky mate um, but we were talking about momentum weren't we in both yep. those podcasts in terms of it. you know I, I do agree with you to an extent um, you know I wasn't going to be too arsed if we went out, I think, but 
City are loving their season because they're in no four cup competitions and they've got so many things to think about and so many things to be excited about. After after that game, you know, the whole basically I don't would we have filmed the Man of the Match podcast on Wednesday night if we'd gone out? Probably not, because we were just so buzzed. We were just so happy to talk I about the game. I didn't get sleep until two o'clock in the morning. I, know. I was up again at half six. I'm just in a great mood yeah. all the time at the moment, and that's what this football team's doing. It was a reminder before Bayern, really. Obviously, we'd had the tough results against Everton and Man United. It was like it'd been quite a while since we'd actually beaten a big team, probably Arsenal at the end of December, you know, because we have since then we've lost the city and we've had a couple of tr- like tricky draws. So we were all sat there going, Oh no, actually, we are really, really good. And and it just it was just there's just a feel good factor, like sort of grown within the fan base at the moment. Obviously, we, we play Porto home and away, we then play the winner of Man United versus Barcelona, and then you end up with. You know, for me, it would probably be one of Juventus or City in the final, and you go, well, you know, City over ninety minutes, like that would be so stressful. But how exciting would that be? To think about. It's stressful That's why to I think did, about. I didn't yeah. want them in the next round because I was honestly watching them. Yeah. Of last season, obviously went to the away leg like, in the City end last season was 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 horrible. Difficult. Yeah. Um, watching the home leg in the pub. Yeah. Was stressful watching the home leg in the pub. Uh, sorry, the home. The Etihad game of the season in yeah. the pub was stressful, even though we yeah. lost. And I was like, it's just dejection, isn't it, when, when you lose? And it, but again, though, we've, that's the only game we've lost this season yeah. in the league. It's ridiculous to think football, about. Football doesn't really work with narratives, but it is a nice little narrative, really, that it almost a way of it feels like that's where the season's going. And I know it's not a nice thing to think about, and it probably won't happen because... Football, like it's so rare that football actually works out like that. But like, if you were writing a film now, oh you'd, yeah, you'd have the Premier League going yeah. down to the last day, and then they face off again in the Champions League final a couple of weeks. Just feels like really, you know, I don't want to count my chickens, but I expect us to beat Porto, mm-hmm. so I expect us to be in the Champions League semi final. We play Barcelona and Man United away first, which mm. I think, if providing that nobody's suspended, plays into our hands because then suddenly you've got a semi final second leg at Anfield. Oh. That will be booming, will be rocking. If we can go, so let's say, let's say Barcelona go through. I don't mean that as a way of, you know, I don't think Man United can go out. For the record, I do think Man United can do something against Barcelona because I think I'd rather have either both of those two teams over two legs. I'm sure yes. Man United would rather have Barcelona over yeah. two legs as well. But say you go to the new camp in, in the first leg and you get you, you get a one all draw, even a two one loss at the new camp. Worst case scenario. You bring that back to Anfield. Mm-hmm. You are, you are, you, you know, you'd fancy us there, wouldn't you? And I'm kind of glad Messi's having yet again another consistent run of form. Well, I mean, Messi is Messi would be a fantastic. I mean, I'd love to see Messi play at Anfield, but you know, the more the more I think about it, the more I'm like, well, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. By the way, we, we you know, we, we are still only in the quarter of finals, but I'm thinking, well, that's a really good test of Van Dijk, you know, in terms of. He's, you know, if he wants to really accredit himself as the best centre back in the world, well, there you go. Just try and keep Messi quiet for 180 minutes. That's not difficult at all. Um, Just pick him up. Pick him up. But yeah, to do that thing where you put your <laughs> yeah. hand on his head. And he, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, it's going to be a really exciting running. 